I have a quick example of an integration by part parts problem here, and it's the integral of x times e to the x dx. And I know I have to use integration by parts with this because I have the integral of a product. I've got something times something, and there's no u substitution here. There's no uh, tricky simplification that I can do. So my only real option is to use integration by parts. And to do that, I need to pick my u and I need to pick my dv. And I have to be mindful about this because I can't just pick u that will make my problem more complicated. So for example, if I picked u to be e to the x, well then du would be e to the x, and that's fine. But that means dv would have to be x dx, and that means my v would be like x squared over two, and then I'm making my problem more complicated. So you want to pick u to make the problem simple. And that's how I know I need to pick my u to be x, and my dv to be e to the x dx. And that's simply because if u is x, that means du is dx, and I'm simplifying things. Remember, I take the derivative this way, and I take the antiderivative that way. And the antiderivative of e to the x dx is simply e to the x. And now I follow my integration by parts formula. It's uv, and I like to draw these arrows. Some people don't, some people do. Some people switch the order of u's and, or v and dv here, but it doesn't really matter. The formula says uv, so that's x e to the x minus the integral of v du. And I just have one more simple antiderivative to do. The antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x. And since this is an indefinite integral, I need to add plus c. So there you go. The integral of x times e to the x is x times e to the x minus e to the x plus c. And you can check that if you took the derivative of this, you have to use a product rule, but it would in fact equal x times e to the x. Okay, I hope you got something out of that example. Please like and subscribe. I put new videos up almost every single day. And thanks again for watching.